And how does one stimulate and get the kind of the changing brain to become all squishy again? So it's basically repetition and emotional intensity. So the more times you do something, then you're basically strengthening those pathways in the brain. And if it's associated either with what I call magnetic desire, or if there's a strong emotion associated with it, a classic example is a breakup. That's obviously emotionally distressing. People tend to obsess over the reasons that it happened. That will wire into your brain that the next time I think about going dating, it's probably going to go horribly wrong kind of thing. It's a protective mechanism of the brain. So it's important to know that neuroplasticity can be good, but it can also be bad. So you need to be really conscious of that. And the process happens in four stages. So the first one is you have to know what you want to change. So that's raised awareness. The second one is focused attention. So seeing where you're not doing the actions that you'd like to or you're thinking in a way that you want to change. So just observing for a while, not jumping in and trying to change things. And then deliberate practice, which is actually trying out new ways of thinking, new ways of being. And the last part is being held accountable.